Is it the end for one pool here in Rochester? The Rochester Park and Rec Board is recommending Silver Lake Pool close for two reasons, the lack of usage and some difficult budget issues. But as our Uba Ali found out, one local council member says there is hope for pools in the city. It's normally a bustling area. But as the leaves now fall into where the water once sat, the fate of the Silver Lake Pool is up in the air. Every spring when we start up, Silver Lake Pool, uh, we keep our fingers crossed that all the systems will fire back up and that they'll work again for another summer. Rochester Parks and Recreation Supervisor Ben Bold says the pool's filtration system is nearing the end of its life. Hey. After the pool was built back in the 50s. We just feel like at this point with the budget reductions we need to undertake that it's the right time to make that decision. That decision to replace the pool with different water features. If we close the pool at Silver Lake in 2021, that will save us about $40,000 in operating expenses. We would have a few splash pad or water feature type options at other um, areas uh, throughout the city. Those recommendations being heard by the city council. I don't want the council, this council, to be the ones that kill this pool for $50,000. There are a lot of people who use that pool, in spite of the fact that it hasn't been updated. Councilman Sean Palmer says he has a different idea for summer 2021. Next year, what I would like to see done is that the splash pad at Soldiers Field be used, not the pool, and use the Silver Lake pool and market that and use that as an outdoor lap swimming pool. As both men have different ideas for the two main pools in Rochester, it ultimately comes down to funding. We do believe that outdoor aquatics is an important component to maintain in the park system. Uh, we've just identified that we want to, our goal is to have one uh, very nice outdoor pool. Rochester really is big enough to have more than two pools, but I think Silver Lake is an ideal location. In Rochester, Uba Ali, KTTC News.